Okay, so let's go ahead and start with uh, GXA 10 first. Uh, to access the SNMP info, uh, log in, click on IP, and then SNMP. Uh, this is what you're going to see. Uh, by default, uh, SNMP enable is disabled. Okay, so, and I uh, went ahead and configured this to save time. So go ahead and do a checkbox. Right? Enable uh, SNMP version. You have either V2, and V3, or V3 only. By default, it's V2, V3. SNMP port is going to be 161, and then your SNMP trap is 162. And go ahead, and if you're using any type of SNMP trap software, go ahead and type in the IP address of that software. All right, next up is going to be the community settings, uh, your IP addresses, your passwords, and so forth. So um, by default, the read-only is public, and the read-write is private. Um, since PVMNS by default uses public and public, I went ahead and changed it. All right. Um, on the IP address front, this is pointing towards the location of your PVMNS server. So uh, in my case, let's take a look at my uh, IP settings here, 192.168.1.252. So um, I'm going to be using that as my IP range with a 24-bit mask. So in this case, 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Okay, and the same thing for read right now. You have the option to do up to three, you know, separate ones uh, depending on, you know, maybe you have other SNMP softwares that you're using, but uh, in my case, this is what I'm using. Uh, and down here, you have your SNMP3 info. Uh, just go ahead and enter your username, password, confirm the password, and then whatever info you're using encryption, uh, AES or DES. Click apply. Okay, and then after that, uh, give it about a minute or so. Once it comes back, then uh, you'll be able to use PVMNS to locate the radio. Okay, so um, I will go ahead and cover the GX800. Uh, somewhat similar to the A10, um, the kind of different layout. Right? Uh, go ahead and access your radio. Uh, go to IP and then SNMP. As you can see, it's fairly similar. Uh, by default, SNMP is disabled, so go ahead and check that. The SNMP port is going to be 161. Uh, just with uh, A10, the read-only and the read-write are, uh, by default, public and then private. Uh, to work with PVMNS, I change both to public. Okay. Um, as you kind of see, we have the, the same type of uh, configuration as with the A10. So our read-only and our read-write, you enter the IP address, okay, of where on the network that PVMNS resides on, okay. As we covered before, I am already on a uh, 1.0, okay, with a 24-bit mask, so that's what I did, okay. I just entered um, my network with my mask for my read-only and my uh, read-write, okay. And uh, towards the bottom here, we have um, SNMP, if that's what you're going to be using, your trap info, okay? And then along with the port, and just go ahead and click apply, and within uh, within a minute or two, um, it's going to come back, and then you will be able to add them to PVMNS, which we're going to cover next. Okay, so let's go ahead and put it all together. Uh, let's add the GX810 and 800 to PVMNS. Um, there's two ways to do it, either via Discovery, which we have open here, or we could do a manual, which is going to be a one by one. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the Discovery. Uh, click on uh, Network Control Discovery. Um, if you don't have a new one, just go ahead and click New. You're going to have this pop up. Uh, type in uh, if it's going to be by IP range, whatever range you want. In my case, it's going to be. Uh, 119 to 120. If you want to do them by subnet, you can. Okay. Uh, next one up is going to be the network settings. Either you have your 102C or V3. Uh, so by default, as mentioned, you could change it whatever you want, but by default, it does come to um, public and public. Okay. And here, of course, here's our port. So let's go ahead and add. And then uh, if you do, if you do or do not already have a subnet group, you could select that. If not, let's go ahead and create one, and then uh, whatever the IP address of your MNS server is. Okay. If you want it to run immediately, check that, and then click OK. And it's going to go ahead and run. And then right off the bat, you could see we found two. Okay. Uh, this right here is my, uh, this is my GX810, and this is my 800, 
It's just the, the way that the SNP naming is. And we could go ahead and change that, okay? Uh, the second way of doing it, of course, would be uh, manually. If you click on Tools and then Manual Discovery, and then the same way. Just type in the IP address of your uh, GX radio. Click on SNMP, uh, whatever you're going to be doing, either v version 2C or 3. Uh, change your read, write, whatever port you're using. By default, once again, it's 161. Click OK. Um, or go ahead and click on subnet and add whatever subnet we you're using. If you have one already established, click OK, and it's going to go ahead and do a search and find it for you. Okay. From here on, you could go ahead and click on the radio, click on web configuration. Okay. Uh, it's uh, admin secret. Same thing for here, admin secret. And now you should have uh, full access to both radios and you could uh, uh, configure them and monitor them via PVMNS. To learn more about Proxim Wireless and our solutions, please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim. Thank <laughs> you.